Leave me, please. Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News The future with humanoid robots walking and working alongside humans without flinching an eye seems to be here already. Let's take a look at the latest news regarding humanoid robots from all around the world. Launching a Humanoid to Space Elon Musk-owned space company SpaceX somehow manages to stay in the global limelight. SpaceX's Starlink internet constellation has managed to secure close to half a million customers in 32 countries on a mission to create a constellation of telecommunication satellites. The billionaire recently had a beef with the US president when he sounded pessimistic about the American economy. Further, Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently called Tesla's new factories gigantic money furnaces, owing to supply chain disruptions and battery cell manufacturing challenges limiting production. However, despite the dwindling fortunes of new factories, Elon Musk is coming up with the prototype of a human robot. The Tesla CEO announced that he was developing a humanoid robot at the Tesla AI Day in August 2021. The artificial intelligence that powers Tesla's fleet of autonomous vehicles will power the humanoid Optimus. Tesla is ready to launch the prototype in September this year. First step towards a Lego-sized humanoid When we think of bipedal humanoid robots, we tend to think of robots that aren't just human-shaped, but also human-sized. There are exceptions, of course, among them a subcategory of smaller humanoids that includes research and hobby humanoids that aren't really intended to do anything practical. But at the IEEE International Conference on Robotics and Automation this year, roboticists from Carnegie Mellon University were asked an interesting question. What happens if you try to scale down a bipedal robot? Like, way down. This line from the paper asking this question sums it up. Our goal with this project is to make miniature walking robots, as small as a Lego minifigure, one centimeter leg, or smaller. The current robot, while small, its legs are 15 centimeters long, is obviously much bigger than a Lego minifig. But that's okay, because it's not supposed to be quite as tiny as the group's ultimate ambition would have it. At least, not yet. Sophia arrives in Kerala. The social humanoid robot, Sophia, arrived in Kerala amid its journey all over the world. Sophia, which is considered to be one of the best and most advanced humanoid robots, reached the state for Drishti 2022, a tech fest of the College of Engineering in Tiruvananthapuram. Sophia was draped in a traditional Kerala sari while interacting with students and experts gathered on the campus for the fest. Sophia grabbed headlines after being the first robot to acquire citizenship in a country. In 2017, Sophia attained citizenship of Saudi Arabia. The organizers of the fest reportedly brought the robot in by spending over 12 lakh rupees. This marks the first time ever that Sophia has visited a campus in South India. This city is so full of art and music. There is always something fun to do here. Hello everyone. My name is Sophia. I have traveled to over 65 countries, meeting new people wherever I go, and learning about their lives. I've heard you all have important exams coming up, so I wanted to give you some advice. Space robot to help astronauts. Building bases on the Moon and Mars may be feasible sooner than we expected. But for now, allowing humans to roam the vast empty lands of these interstellar surfaces is costly and difficult. Often, a handy robot is preferred. One of the more exciting space bots we've seen is the R1 lunar robot created by Gitai. It's a remote-controlled humanoid robot on four wheels designed to help astronauts. The R1 is designed to perform tasks like explore, build, fix, research, and more. Gitai hopes that its robot would help lower the cost of traditional human astronaut travel by sending these bots to the surfaces of the Moon and Mars to complete tasks. The R1 bot can maneuver over rocks and is equipped with omnidirectional steering, allowing it to change directions easily. During its tests on the mock lunar surface environment at JAXA, R1 successfully assembled solar panels, communication antennas, sample gathering, and more. Gitai hopes its R1 bot will travel to space in 2040. Aptronic gets $14.6 million for humanoid robots. With more than 11 million open jobs and only 6 million unemployed workers, the U.S. economy is facing a labor shortage that has sparked more interest in automation and robotics. 
Abtronic, a robotics company that spun off from the human-centered robotics lab at the University of Texas at Austin in 2016, has raised $14.6 million in seed funding to develop a multi-purpose humanoid robot that could be used to fill some of those jobs, particularly dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs in the logistics and construction industries. Aptronic CEO and co-founder Jeff Cardenas said the company's humanoid robots can perform a wide variety of tasks in environments that are designed for humans, not environments that are specially designed for robots. The company's newest robot can be programmed to perform any task, Cardenas said, and the company has also figured out how to produce robots affordably so that they can be scaled for mass production. Cardenas believes that robots will be ubiquitous in the not-so-distant future, and Aptronic hopes to usher that era in with its next humanoid robot model. There will be tens of millions, hundreds of millions, and eventually billions of robots that are living and working with us and helping humans go to the next level, he said. One of Aptronic's earlier contributions to the robotics sector was its work on the NASA Valkyrie robot during the DARPA Robotics Challenge in 2012 and 2013. The company went on to develop wearable robotic exoskeletons, also known as an Iron Man suit, designed to provide enhanced strength, speed and armor as part of the military's Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit Program. One Step Closer to Developing Humanoid Robots A way of covering a robotic finger with living human cells has been developed by Japanese scientists. It may sound like something from the realms of sci-fi classics, such as Blade Runner or Ex Machina, but researchers at the University of Tokyo are bringing androids a major step closer by grafting living human skin on robots. The method not only gave a robotic finger a skin-like texture, but also provides water repellent and self-healing functions. Study first author Professor Shoji Takeuchi said, The finger looks slightly sweaty straight out of the culture medium. Since the finger is driven by an electric motor, it is also interesting to hear the clicking sounds of the motor in harmony with the finger that looks just like a real one. Looking real is one of the top priorities for humanoid robots that are often tasked to interact with humans in healthcare and service industries. Takayuchi says a human-like appearance can improve communication efficiency and evoke likability. Smart MoMA Mobile Robot and Next Stage Humanoid Robot Rollomatic maintains its global leadership position in the field of cutting tool production and has proudly announced the launch of an Omron automatically guided vehicle with a robotic handling system and a Kawada humanoid industrial robot. The design of these handling systems is in line with increasing demands in the area of IIoT and the smart factory. The Omron mobile robot allows the automatic transportation of tool cassettes between different grinding machines and eventual delivery to post-grinding stations, such as measuring, laser marking, cleaning, packaging, labeling, and more. Both the Smart MoMA and the Next Age robots will be shown in working action during the IMTS 2022 in Chicago. The Smart MoMA will transport full and empty cassettes between the grinding machines and the post-grinding station. The Next Age humanoid robot will perform tasks such as tubing and labeling. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.